Sanctions unite the world against Putin as Russia turns to cryptocurrency amidst Ukraine crisis. Putin's invasion of Ukraine sparked global outrage, leading to an unprecedented international response. Nations worldwide condemned the aggression, rallying in support of Ukraine, underscoring the gravity of the situation. In a display of global unity, swift and severe sanctions were imposed on Russia. These sanctions aim to isolate Russia economically and diplomatically, showcasing the world's collective stand against the invasion. Despite the economic onslaught, Ukraine displayed remarkable resilience. The country's determination to withstand adversity was evident as it navigated the sanctions' impact, rallying both domestic and international support. The sanctions significantly dented Russia's economy, affecting its citizens' living conditions. The economic repercussions were widespread, touching every sector and leading to a palpable sense of uncertainty among the populace. As the conflict continued, both Ukrainian and Russian civilians faced escalating hardships. The ongoing hostilities exacerbated the challenges, leading to a humanitarian crisis that underscored the urgent need for a resolution. In response to crippling international sanctions, Russia has strategically pivoted towards cryptocurrencies as a means to bypass financial restrictions. This tactic mirrors attempts by other sanctioned states to maintain economic stability. The adoption of cryptocurrencies, notably by Russia and Iran, showcases a significant trend among nations facing international sanctions. Both countries have increasingly turned to digital currencies to facilitate transactions and sustain their economies. Cryptocurrencies offer a unique avenue for circumventing international sanctions, raising questions about the effectiveness of traditional financial penalties. As digital assets operate outside conventional banking systems, they present a formidable challenge to existing regulatory frameworks. Russia's foray into global Bitcoin mining operations signifies a deeper engagement with the cryptocurrency world. This move not only aids in sanctions evasion but also positions Russia as a significant player in the digital currency market. The potential implications of Russia's cryptocurrency engagement are far-reaching, affecting global economy and sanctions policy. As Russia deepens its crypto involvement, it challenges the traditional mechanisms of international finance and sanctions enforcement. Cryptocurrencies have emerged as a lifeline for economies battered by international sanctions. This digital currency offers a semblance of financial normalcy amidst the economic isolation imposed by global powers. Countries like Russia find this avenue particularly appealing, leveraging the anonymity and global reach of cryptocurrencies to sustain trade and maintain economic stability. This shift represents a significant adaptation to the modern financial system, highlighting the resilience of sanctioned nations in the face of adversity. The transition to crypto transactions presents a mixed bag of challenges and opportunities for Russia. While it offers an escape from the traditional banking system, closely monitored by international regulators, it also introduces volatility and security risks. The digital nature of cryptocurrencies, coupled with their fluctuating values, poses a new set of financial uncertainties. Yet, the potential to bypass economic barriers and foster international commerce underlines the strategic importance of this move. The global cryptocurrency market has felt the ripples of increased participation by sanctioned countries. As nations like Russia and Iran delve deeper into digital currencies to evade economic sanctions, the demand, value, and scrutiny of cryptocurrencies have surged. This dynamic has sparked a global debate on the regulation and monitoring of digital financial transactions, challenging the established norms of international finance. Iran's foray into crypto mining as a revenue stream has set a precedent for Russia. By harnessing the country's energy resources to mine cryptocurrencies, Iran has unlocked a new economic lifeline, mitigating some impacts of sanctions. This model offers Russia not just a blueprint for leveraging its vast energy resources, but also lessons in navigating the geopolitical complexities of engaging in crypto mining on a large scale. The geopolitical landscape is shifting with nations turning to cryptocurrencies in response to sanctions. This trend underscores the evolving nature of global finance and diplomacy, challenging the effectiveness of traditional economic sanctions. 
As more countries adopt this approach, the international community faces ethical dilemmas and strategic challenges, forcing a re-evaluation of how economic measures are applied in the digital age. Exploring the ethical dimensions of using cryptocurrencies to evade sanctions opens a Pandora's box of moral quandaries. It forces a re-evaluation of the fine line between economic survival and legal transgression. The long-term effects of Russia's cryptocurrency adoption highlight a complex interplay between innovation and regulation. This shift not only challenges the efficacy of sanctions but also tests Russia's resilience against economic isolation. The global response to Russia's significant engagement in Bitcoin mining has been a mix of apprehension and intrigue. This development underscores the need for a cohesive international strategy to address the implications of decentralized finance. Assessing the sustainability of using cryptocurrencies as a method to circumvent sanctions reveals a multifaceted dilemma. While offering a lifeline to sanctioned economies, it simultaneously raises concerns about the stability and integrity of the global financial system. The evolving landscape of international sanctions and the burgeoning role of cryptocurrencies signify a pivotal moment in global economics. This dynamic interplay may well redefine the boundaries of international policy and economic sovereignty in the digital age.